Alrighty, hello, hello, and welcome to Mountain Blade Battle Lord, episode 10. Uh, this is Realistic Difficulty, and we will be now moving to do the next part of the main quest, which is visiting two people in two different cities, and just talking to them about, um, I think, I think it's about the flag, or the banner, I should say, because it is Battle Lord. Um, so yeah, we'll go do that now. And just want to quickly check, does my, no, okay, my party hasn't got more space yet, that's fine, okay, and let's talk to Estinia, uh, ah, sorry, I didn't think I know you, I'm Naja, who are you, I'm Estinia, uh, you probably already know that though, once I wielded great power, but now, anyway, I am most caught curious what you might want with me. So what brings you to me? Oh, it's voice acted a little bit. I believe I have a piece of the dragon banner of Karadios. Is, Is that true? You may have one piece of the banner, but it's of little use in itself. You'll have to find the other parts. But once you can bring together the pieces, you'll have something of tremendous value. How so? The banner of Karadios is part of a legend. Oh, okay. They say it was carried by Caradius the Great as he led his small band of exiles into this land to make a new home for themselves. They say that, so long as it is carried by a true son of Caradius, he shall never be defeated in battle. Or daughter, I imagine. Although that has never come up. Of course, our glorious armies have been defeated many times, but I guess those commanders and emperors were not true sons. Clever little legend. A child could see through it if she tried. But of course, people never try to see through the noble lies that bind us together. Thank you. Thank heaven for that. <clears throat> so, can you help me find a buyer for it? <laughs> a buyer? Think bigger than that. Let me just say that if you can find the missing pieces, I'm sure I can help you put it to good use. So where, where can I find the other pieces? Before I reveal that information to you, I need to know more about your intentions. <laughs> One could use the banner to restore the empire. But one could also use the banner to destroy it. Let me tell you about myself. I am a confidant of the old Emperor Nezareth's. Officially, I was not his spy master, as I am a woman. But that was the role I played nonetheless. I liked Nezareth's. He was very grateful for his trust. And was very grateful for his trust. But he was not a good emperor. Too stubborn and principled. I probably should have poisoned him. That this is what I learned from a lifetime in politics. There is nothing worse than disorder. Suffice to say that, I know better than anyone about the lies and cruelty that kept the emperor, empire alive. But all the murders I have committed in ten years of serving Nazareth do not amount to the death toll in a single hour when an army storms town. There is nothing special about our empire. Any one of these petty kings and khans and sultans could probably get lucky and conquer Calradia and do as good a job at ruling it as we did. But the point is, we already did it. Our greatest crimes are in the past. Let us not undo what has already been done. So, if you intend to use the banner to save the Empire, I'll tell you what I know. But if you want to go backward, not forward, then I will not help you. Well, actually, I do want to create an Empire. That's what Naja wants. He wants to be the Emperor. So, of course, I intend to use the banner to help save the Empire. Good. good. Then I will tell you what <clears throat> I know. I heard about one other piece. Oh, that's convenient. I do not know where the other pieces are. You may need to keep searching for them. When you have recovered all the pieces. Cool. There you go. So we need to find this other piece. But before we do that, there's an arena battle. And we're going to get a lance. That could be useful for. Uh, Sally. <clears throat> I'm much of a spearman. And lances are cool. Cat cataphract lances are cool, but they're two handed, so you can't use it with a shield. Um, at least I don't believe you can. So it's a bit harder to use. Um, <laughs> Blandian ones are my favorite. Still got it. Nigel is quick on his feet. Oh, ho, ho. I've been handicapped. Oh, I got that was good 
damage. Oh, that's cold damage. Oh, better damage. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Call me legless. I just got everyone. Wait. What the fuck? I should probably change his outfit. He still looks like a merchant. I guess he, that's basically what he is at the moment. And I was kind of hoping we'd get like an actual armor piece. But I think the best place to get those would probably be um, Britannian. They seem to have them more often. Not sure. I think um, when I do a next campaign, I'll have a mod that increases the variety of rewards that you can get from the arena um and even some like cool plate armor that you can get um like i had the plate armor mod but you can get a another mod which lets it appear as a reward in a tournament because that would be cool because it's actually expensive and would be worth it and then you can just tour volandia as like a, a jouster uh, okay. Well, maybe I will give it to someone. Is Nigel not, not on a horse? Is it? Oh, sorry, Nathaniel's is on a horse. Uh, well, yeah, we'll see how he goes with it. If he just gets, like, KO'd every time, we'll, we'll reevaluate. I'll sell pottery. It's great. <clears throat> cool. And we leveled up, didn't we? So, let's quickly... Put something into something. Uh, crossbow. He's fine with crossbow. 200. Trade. No. Oh, we'll just go leadership. Help increase that. It seems to be pretty hard to level that up at the moment. Uh, I think we'll get more experience when we create armies. Um, and have people join our armies. Other lords, I should say. Um... I think, I think that helps increase leadership, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and when I verse lords in themselves, that will increase leadership. Okay. Uh, well, we won't take the... Th oh, yeah, we will. We want him in everything, because that's, that's cool, story-wise. Uh, who else? Sturgeons have some pretty cool... Um... Uh... Breaching, I guess armor. Uh, and yeah, we'll bring we'll bring um, for a creed fair here. The only reason why I remember recruiting him is because he did well during a um, a, tour a tournament. So yeah, he'll probably die quite soon. I think <laughs> he wasn't that great. I remember saying like on that exact same episode that I never recruit companions just for their combat abilities because it doesn't seem to make much difference. Uh, so, fire at will, and just charge, boys. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so he's like, he's against that exception. Uh, anyway, he might surprise me. He might, he might be the last companion left standing. good posse they seem to be pretty um, like specialized now Come on. how unlucky would that have been Just missing everyone that set me Health. Die, you it's a healthy radar. <clears throat> what happens if I fail this quest? Do you reckon I can just 
then like another one will pop up, like the flag will be moved. Oh, I wonder, like they can't lock you out, can they? That could be some real stakes. Uh, I don't think so, buddy. Oh, two headshots. Actually, that last one wasn't good. Nice. Time to 1v1. Which I won't do, because there's like two of them. Three of them. Um, and all my guys are still around, so... Uh, no, I don't do judos. Oh, you might be someone, though. It's the pool. It's Frank Reed. Sorry, Frank Reed. He didn't die though, so that's nice. And it was because of his helmet. It's because of his kettle. Oh, he actually got a kill. Oh. He was useful. Okay, what do we got? <clears throat> that's a long load screen. <coughs> Very long load screen. Hopefully it hasn't broken. Uh, I might just pause the recording and see if something's broken. Uh, Alrighty, and we're back. So, game kind of softly crashed. Uh, so we'll be trying this again. Hopefully not with the same result. And we'll be doing exactly the same thing, so hopefully it works itself out this time. Oh, we don't need archers. We need you, we need you. Uh, that's it. Yeah, there's nothing cuter than a golden retrieve looking at you. Okay? There's nothing cuter. Everyone, fire at will, everyone, charge. This may be harder. <laughs> this time I think I'll just do the 1v1, because maybe that's what... <clears throat> maybe that's what um, caused the crash last time. We killed them too quickly. Yeah, I need to get my athletics up. <clears throat> so, but you can't like grind like you can. Well, I guess you could, but you can't grind as well as you can in games such as RuneScape. I've been playing that again lately for the first time since like I was 14. And my god, it's such a nostalgia trip, the old school RuneScape. It's just like a. It's a nice, even like free to play. I plan on going, like becoming a member once I've leveled up a bit more, but like, man, like it's such a, it's a pretty well-rounded game. Like it's old, sure, but things just seem to, it just seems to tick all the boxes that you kind of want in an MMO. I know, I feel like in MMOs nowadays, they, they focus too much on the graphics and making all these kind of systems that force you to grind without any kind of benefit, whereas I guess because RuneScape doesn't hide the fact that you have to grind it's kind of more acceptable I don't know, that's just my two cents about it but it just it's a more enjoyable experience maybe it's already in my heart because of nostalgia 
so. Anyway, I'll just deal with this man boss and talk about Oof. Yeah, boys. Okay, please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Okay. I think it's good now. Last time we didn't come up with 100% and loot. Yeah, we go. Cool. Fixed it. So if that ever happens to you guys, just um, remember to save before you go in. This game still is technically in early access, so expect some bugs. Uh, I'm still going to upgrade my troops because then they're more expensive. Upgrade them before battles. That's how I do it. Well, that's how I try and do it. I wonder if Far Creed is that a better arm? It is. <laughs> Look at that. And we'll get you some. We'll give you a shield too. There you go. And hopefully, we get that flag piece. I wonder if we'll do the other one as well. We probably have to do the other one as well. The other, like the guy in Monrith or whatever it is. Yeah, it looks like we still have to go over there. Okay. And then we have to make a decision. Why is the... Oh, weird hideout still there. Um, and then I guess we'll go to... Another hideout? And get another pizza flag? Pizza. Pizza flag. That's what the flag is. It's just a... It's a big old Domino's pizza that's... About 20, 30 years old at this point. It's, it's margarita. That's why everyone wants it because it's margarita. Everyone knows margarita is the best pizza. So that's why it's so sought after. All these bandits are like, this is our pizza now. Yeah. Oh, torment too. Hmm. Batanian tournament's probably my favorite. I'm just calling it. I don't know why. I think because it's focused on. It's mostly focused on. Um, I mean, I guess they're all mostly focused on melee, but... I don't know. Throwing axes. Hmm. Yeah, we could give that to a companion, make him a bit more individual. One of them. wonder who... I think our brother has enough stuff, so... Hmm. Hmm. But we give... I'll, I'll give it to the, um... The Highlander guy. The guy who we didn't think would be that useful. He has plenty of room for things. Right. We'll go for... Was it the golden? Oh! Oh! oh. Wow. Luckily I've got Mengus on my side. He just needs to take out this guy and we're in. Okay, cool. We're in. And to be honest, he can probably take down both these guys. No, he couldn't. Okay. <laughs> Damn. I was not expecting that. The, the good old uh, two hit. Nice. I don't think we took any hits there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I love you, I love you. Oh, what a champion. Look at him go. He took two NPCs down. That is some sick stuff. I mean, we'll in anyway, because we're the last two survivors, but still. Very cool. Fuck, I'm not as confident with two handers. Oh. Especially when they can break through. Oh my god. Give me a sword any day. And I reckon he'll win that. Yeah, nice. Good on you. Oh no, retain. Oh, well, oath sword. Okay, okay, not what I saw coming, but yeah, here's what it is. Uh, okay, we'll talk to Azur. Uh, we'll. we'll Go and uh, with our tail between our legs. A bit disappointed, a bit bruised, battered. 
and talk to Azokos, the bodyguard. Hello there. You probably are aware that I am Azogos. I am not sure why you have sought me, but know that my old life as Imperial Lapdog is over. Ooh. So, who are you and what brings you to me? I believe I have a piece of the Dragon Banner of Calradios. Is that true? Well, that is interesting. You may have one piece of the banner, but it's of little use in itself. You will have to find the other parts, but once you can bring the pieces together, you'll have something of tremendous value. How so? Uh, the Banner of Calradius is part of a legend. It is said to be carried by Calradius the Great, who first led his people to this land, to conquer and to spoil. The legend says that no army led by a true son of Calradius shall be defeated in battle. Convenient legend, eh? Convenient legend, eh? Of course the Calradians have been defeated many times, but I guess those were not true sons. Ah, Gamsons. Everyone knows the same conclusion. Um, still, you could... You could say it represents the strength and endurance of this empire. So, can you help me find a buyer for it? A buyer? I can help you do far more than that. So, where can I find the other pieces? Before I answer, you and I need to know more about each other. Okay, he's going to be the same as the other lady. Uh, I don't know what you what you know about me. I was a citizen of the empire. I was commander of the any imperial armies. But I'm no not an imperial. I am what they call a Palic. Palic is a language that is no longer spoken except for a few old people. Even the word Palak is imperial. We are a people who have forgotten who we are. The Empire has a genius for destruction. The destruction of languages, traditions, gods. It takes our fortresses, force, force, eh, fortresses, fortresses, force, my god, fortresses, thank you, slaughters our men and turns our children into its own children. Nothing can bring the Palak people back. They are now imperial. But that is an insult to our name, to our gods, to our memory, that the state which destroyed our shrines and fortresses should last and thrive. I've never had a problem with that word before. Well, I guess I haven't said it too many times out in the open. Anyway, I have vowed that this empire shall not survive the civil war. If I can do anything to stop it, and believe me, if I had that banner, there is very much I could do. Uh, I get, I think... He won't give me the quest if I say no, so I'm just going to say, yeah, sure. Good, then I'll let you know. I heard that about one piece. I do not know where the other pieces are. You'll need to search for them. Go on. Yeah, we will not do it. Going back to you, buddy. <clears throat> Good. Saves. We went to a nightfall. <coughs> Recovering our hit points as well. Maybe that's why we died so quickly. Our hit points went down. I got me fire crit again, and ooh, uh, we'll just get Sturgeon guy. Whatever. Oh no, no, Mamluk. He's good. They're very good. Ah, oh, look at that! It's finally stopped raining. Amazing. Charge! Nice. I need to check out Lazif the Goblins, uh, what his stats are. I can't remember what I recruited him originally for. Golden usually means they're either good at leadership or... I, I always think trade, but I don't think it is trade. It's the darkness. Nice, Nathaniels. Narrowly missed the uh, my own guy's head. Though. Okay, where's the last one? Over there somewhere. Is that him sitting down? That is. Seem to work, don't want it to crash again. 
very well. Although, Nigel is feeling less confident due to his recent loss in the round. Prisoners, excellent. Uh, can we recruit any of them? We don't really want to recruit any of them. We'll recruit him, he seems to be good. Line breakers are pretty awesome, not gonna lie. So we're gonna see how they go. Um, yeah, we probably don't want any more recruits. Bean recruits. Um, yeah, we'll. I originally hired these guys to be on horse, so they can be on horse. Uh, oh, I do like the Mamluks, so, so we'll keep them as Mamluks. And crossbowmen. More Mamluks. Tribals. Crossbow. Archers. Sweet. Fully gullies. And now we will unite the empire, but not this episode, because this episode is basically done. Once we go, yeah, okay, yep. And so next episode we're going to go to Apricotta, and we're going to put the banners together. They've done that, so it'll be interesting. Can't wait to see it. Anyway, I'm Japal. I'll talk to you later.